the way the story, I know the story anyway. The the Moshe Sarebbe, I'm sure you did your losses. The Chazal Gebur had a a bris of an einikul. It was 1945, if I remember correctly. Uh, in the spring of 45, probably. And uh, after the bris was, was finished, he uh, asked the notables that he had, he had the uh, Rabbeim that were there, he had also the Rav Yitzhak Hutner, Rashila Chaim Berlin. They were, they were very, they seemed to be, they had, they had a, a, some kind of a personal real, a personal relationship they had. Rav uh, Hutner used to come to him privately, to speak uh, to get ideas on, uh, you know, on, on uh, Ashkofa, and uh, I've heard very much into Ashkofa. Yeah. Ashkofa yeah. And, and the Rebbe was, was very much also into it, so he used to go to the Radzina also, the Buchan Liner, right. also was very much in, in that. So uh, he, then uh, they were going up, so Rebbe motioned to me, I should come up also. And I couldn't understand why he would want me to come up, I mean, why he, uh, I was waiting to hear what exactly he had in mind. Anyway, he took out a a letter that he got from Zurich, Switzerland. He, got, he just got a few days earlier and started reading it. He started reading it for the Oilam. The letter was telling him about his uh, relative, Zredovat Fastag, who was sent from the, the Warsaw Ghetto on a, on a train, a freight train, cattle train, to Treblinka, and on the train, he uh, got up and started singing an imamin. An imamin, an imamin, be yemun hamashiach, and the Freddy goes, and uh, the the Oilam listened to it for the first time, obviously, and they all started singing along with him. They never sang it. And uh, after he finished talking about it, he said he gave me the, there was no 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 paper also there. What that she gave me. And well, he gave me a, 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 a line. He said, yeah, so I should read it for them. So I started reading it uh, for the Oilam. Of course, there was no dry eye in the, in the room at that time, I can say. So we had the uh, the, the Abhutna was there, and the Capitius Rebbe, and the Stone Rebbe. Uh, and then the Rebbe was the one that was a false of the I mean, I would say that he came up, popularized it all over, wherever he went. Because I I, he was invited to the. the I, I mentioned that also. The, uh, Lubavitch had a Chnikas Abayas, they had a building on, on Bedford Avenue that they took over for the yeshiva. So uh, they would by the Chnikas Abayas, they invited uh, the Rebbe to be there, Malav Malkish, the Motzah Shabbat. He spoke about it, they sang it over there. It became uh, the... Worldwide, huh? Yeah. <laughs>